All right, we are getting a few more details about Harvey Weinstein's contract uh, that uh, may be a key to determining if he'll ever be able to hang on to his job outlined in that contract to criminal defense attorney Deborah Blum. Now, you know, nothing's reliable on this, Deborah, but the one thing we're told is not that it exonerated behavior of this and made him bulletproof, but the understanding seemed to be that if he paid a lot of these settlements on his own, um, he could proceed. That sounds a little crazy and outlandish, but what do you know? I fully agree with you. Arguably, the Weinstein Company's contractual relationship with Harvey Weinstein enabled his alleged sexual predatory behavior, and they could very easily be on the hook for wrongful termination. His 2015 contract had protocols for settling lawsuits for inappropriate conduct and actually had increasing fines for first, second, and third incidents of misconduct. So his contract allowed him to cure his sexual harassment so long as he paid the named price in his contract. This is a very unique provision. His contract essentially acknowledged his proclivities towards sexual misconduct, and once he cured his code of conduct violations, no further action can be taken. So this is a definition, this is the definition of wrongful termination. So if, if that's not in there, as some people suspect, as it does to your point, and you're the expert, it sounds a little outlandish. Uh, it would seem to me that the odds of him making a legal case for still being at the company or certainly not fired from the company uh, aren't going anywhere. What do you well, think? Well, I respectfully disagree with you. Actually, his contract said that he has the right to mediation and then arbitration if they're planning on firing him, and they didn't give him that right. Also, his contract specifies that unless he's indicted for a crime or convicted of a crime, which there's no prosecution yet, in fact, the Manhattan DA's office declined to prosecute, then he's still supposed to have his job. So just help me with this. Where do you think all of this goes? Because it's not only his survival, if, if he can, but his whole company, whether, you know, when you lose talent, when you lose contracts of working relationships in that business, you don't have a business. I agree with you. There was a complicit culture of covering this up. And, you know, the courts are not going to want to allow employers to have sexual predators in the workplace. So the court might find some kind of carve-out provision and say that he should be fired and that the decision was correct. So I, I don't know what the company is going to do. I feel that they enabled his behavior pursuant to his contract. All right, Deborah, thank you very, very much. I appreciate it.